Right guys, welcome to a new video review. Today we're gonna review and test the Saramonic UW Mic 9S. But before we dive into all the specs, I'm gonna show you a tiny promo and a test we actually filmed with Joe, who you've met before and go and follow him on Instagram. So you actually have an idea of how the microphone sounds and works. Let's go. Joe, that's me talking. And uh, my first question would be, what's skateboarding for you? I must have started skateboarding when I was seven or eight years old and someone, someone was getting rid of loads of skateboards outside their house, a friend of the family, and they just left one, they gave it to me, I was like, this looks cool, I'll pick it up and try it, and here I am many years later still doing it. And for me, it's just, it's just a great way to, it's quite a solo pursuit, so it's just like a nice creative outlet, just put in some headphones, go and skate, forget about the day, just enjoy myself. I think what's really nice about skateboarding for me, more, more almost than the actual skateboarding itself, is just the skate community. There's just so many creatives that skate. Everyone's filming, painting, there's artists, there's musicians. Everyone you speak to that skates, there's a high chance that they're doing something really artistic outside of that. So for me, it was, it's what got me into filming and photography and that kind of, that kind of route. So that was a quick promo we've been with Joe just to test out the mic and that's how we sounded. Bear in mind we used both microphones so I was interviewing Joe with one microphone and he was answering the question with the other set. What is the UW Mic 9S? It's a wireless, compact wireless microphone system by Saramonic. Uh, you can use it for dual interviews, if you do journalism, if you're vlogging, very useful if you're vlogging with a friend maybe. So you can use two microphones at the same time on the same camera. Bear in mind guys, this is a version from 2021. So there's a previous version which had some issues. Hopefully the issues have been solved and that's, that's what we're going to test today. The UW Mic 9S comes into kit. The first kit comes with one receiver, one transmitter and the price is 250 seven pound british pound you can find the links in the description tab and the second kit actually comes with two transmitters and one receiver at the price of 399 pound link down here so the kit number two which is the one with two transmitters and one receiver of course comes with two transmitters and one receiver it comes in a very good case actually one of the pelican cases it comes with two omnidirectional lavalier microphones. Then you have a mini jack 3.5 millimeters cable that actually splits in two other mini jacks. We have two XLR cables from full size XLR to mini jack. We also have one mini jack cable to link up your receiver to the camera. We have the charging cables, of course, three belt clips and one cold shoe mount adapter. Let's talk about the build of the microphone. It actually feels better than what it looks on video. So when you check it online, it looks a bit plasticky, but the material is actually very good. I think it's uh, some kind of metal and it feels professional. Let's talk about some of the main features of this kit. It can transmit UHF frequencies, which are stronger than 2.4 gigahertz frequencies. So they allow you to go through obstacles in a better way and more solid way than the 2.4 gigahertz. In the mics, we've got 96 channels we can switch freely. And also we have two groups, A and B. The maximum distance the microphone can reach away from the receiver is 50 meters and we're gonna test it out guys i've been joined by philo if you haven't met philo go and check him out on instagram and follow hours of time which is actually the band is a member of so go check them because i'm using one of their tracks in my videos dun, 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 how does it go don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay go and check him out anyway check the band we're gonna test the microphones distance range i try to go myself now See if it works out or if, if it cuts out. Uh, can you still hear me now? Yeah. Fine? Yeah. Nothing happening? Nothing. So pretty clear. Keep okay. going. Keep going. I, I tried to go around the block. Bye bye. Go. And uh, yeah, we were talking about hours of time. So go check them out on Instagram. Cool music. Just a couple of members, but that's what you need to make good music. And I hope you can still hear me so you can go and check them out and give it a follow oh yeah baby 
<laughs> okay, great. Okay, you also have the options to record mono or stereo, and with the XLR splitter, you can record one microphone on your left channel and the second microphone on the right channel. I'm back in studio and I actually went through the settings and tried to understand how the stereo mode works. So you need to set up your receiver in stereo mode so you can get two different channels with the two different microphones. And you need to have apparently a camera that can support the two XLR cables. So my Blackmagic doesn't. What we've done with Joe in London was to connect one microphone to the mini jack of the camera and one to the mini XLR. So apparently that doesn't work. But if you have two XLRs cable, then you can split the channels. And I'm gonna show you right now. So you can see me now through the Sony. This is the FX3, which supports two XLR cables as you can see right there. And now we're gonna test the two microphones. So uh, this is the receiver. It's set in stereo mode right now. And let's test the microphone, the left channel microphone. This is the one, so I'm talking and I can see the audio coming in on one channel. But of course you can still hear me because the other microphone is very close. So I'm gonna put this down and take the second microphone, which should be on the right channel. There you go. So you can actually split the channels and you can see down here the sequence in Premiere Pro with the two separate channels. But if you have your receiver set as mono, then your two channels will be merged in one and you will not be able to split them in video editing. We have an OLED display on all the devices just to check your settings and scroll through the menu. You also have a mute button, which is actually the power button. So when the microphone is on, you just need to press it quickly and you will mute your microphone. We also have an output for your earphones so you can live check your audio. And also on the receiver, you have an, an extra line input for an external microphone. So if you want to plug in a handheld microphone, you can do it and still record it through the receiver. You will find three belt clips in the kit as well. And a good feature is that you can actually adjust the gain of your audio through the transmitter. So that's a very good feature because some microphones don't. Let's talk about battery and battery lives. The microphones comes with lithium internal batteries, which is great. That's one of the features I like the most. So I don't have to carry any extra AAA batteries and you can run it through the internal batteries or also through the USB-C cable. So you can just plug in a cable and keep running the mic. Well done to get to the end of the video and to the conclusion. And now I'm gonna share my thoughts about the Saramonic UW Mic 9S. The most important thing, of course, is the audio quality for me. And this microphone can deliver professional sound. As you've seen in the initial promo with Joe, everything sounded fine. And you probably wouldn't have told the difference between this microphone and the Sennheiser, for example. Talking about the pros, well, the second pro feature for me, professional feature, was the full-size XLR cable and actually being able to split the stereo channels. That means you can record two different people and interview two people or more at the same time on two different channels, maybe one on the left channel, one on the right, and being able to mix it in post-production with Audition, Premiere, or whatever software you're using. Talking about lavaliers, I... It's a simple thing, but I like how the foam actually doesn't come off very easily off the microphone. So a lot of times during interviews, I just lose, I just lose these foams. You're interviewing someone, you turn around and the foam is gone and you can't find it. So that's a good feature. And also I really liked actually the windscreen. It's very fluffy, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and uh, the day we filmed with Joe was very windy and uh, you couldn't feel the wind through the mic. So that does the job very well. Oh yeah, what I love as well is having internal batteries. As I mentioned in the video, you don't have to carry AAA batteries. So that's a plus for me. And how can you not love this case? Yes, I want to be able to carry my gear securely. And that's the way Pelican case 
Also being able to adjust the gain on the microphones, that's great. So you have two options on the camera and on the microphone. Now let's talk about some of the negatives I found. One is not to have the auto sync in the mics. I actually reviewed other microphones where you laid the kit in the case and the, and the case will match the frequencies for you already. Through the push of a button, the receiver and the transmitter will match the frequency very easy for newbies. During the distance range test, I had a fail in terms of signal only once. So I was probably 30 meters away from the camera, but overall the signal was kind of constant. And talking about signal and actually UHF frequencies, bear in mind I talked to Saramonic because I had some issues with the previous kit they sent me. And the problem was the signal was cutting off because each country or different regions in the world use a different band in terms of uh, ultra high frequencies. So make sure that when you purchase the kit, the frequency will match your countries. For example, if you want to bring the microphone abroad for traveling, documentaries, whatever reason, bear that in mind, you might have some issues with the signal because the frequency band is actually different from country to country. So there's a list online, go check it out before you purchase or you travel with your kit. These are my overall impressions. I like the microphone anyway, recommend it for professional use, documentaries, dual interviews, vlogging, and so on. Well, I hope the video helped as always. And if it did, hit the subscribe button. It's free and you will help me to support my channel. Also go and check my website, mamware.com where you will find some of the best sellers courses, video editing courses on Udemy. Now on my website, they will be cheaper. So go check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Memories fall up the road